Hello, friends, and welcome back to Uncle Robert Plays, The Binding of Isaac Afterbirth Plus. Uh, you know, I think it's time we did a greedier run with Maggie, you know? Gave it the old college try again. Actually, you know what? Let's do Lilith instead, because I have not played Lilith in a very long time. And, uh, I think it's time that, uh, changed that. Okay, so what do we got going on here? Nothing really exciting. So as Lilith, what I want are more little companions. Um, and ideally some way of generating battery charges. Uh, the car battery is also amazing. Okay. So yeah, and of course, you know, the standard health, damage, tears, all that nonsense. But where uh, Lilith really shines is she's like the ultra pimp. I mean, what is a female word for a pimp? Would that be a madam? Yes. I don't even know if I'm allowed to say pimp on YouTube. I mean, it's not like my channel's monetized anyway, but... Yeah, Lilith is the ultimate big bad boss babe. Yeah, let's call it babe instead of the other B word that is typically associated with uh, big bad boss ladies. Ooh. Something else I want to make sure I do, and I've made this mistake, and by, by that I mean I've made the mistake of not doing this in the past, is making sure that I have a full charge on Box of Friends before I go to the next floor. What the heck? Something hit me. I don't know what it was. I mean, that's like the story of my life and this channel, really. Yeah, because Ultra Greedier is going to be an absolute ouch nightmare if I don't have a way of generating additional battery charges or a lot of, um, a lot of little buddies to deal with them. Unless I go for, you know, like the typical stat distribution of, you know, damage tiers and what have you. You know, your typical garden variety run-of-the-mill kind of thing. But sadly, that doesn't... I'd, I'd rather play to Lilith's strengths, if possible. Whoa, okay, I also need to pay attention to where I'm standing. Uh, and this guy needs to pay attention to where he's standing, but he's not gonna. Oh, whoa, no, I should not have come in here. Oh, well, whatever. It's fine. Uh, the reason I should not have come in there is because now I only have one little incubus left. Okay, that actually works pretty well. That's a very good pickup. And it's, it's pin anyway, so I'm not really worried. Whoa. Oh dear. Oh, that sucks. Hmm. Okay, these are both pretty solid. Uh, you know what? I will take this because, you know, I'm a, a very reckless guy. Uh oh. I don't think there are spirit hearts, uh, excuse me, soul hearts for sale in the shop. Um, there is like the, um, the screw, but I actually have a good, really good rate of fire anyway, thanks to um, Binky. Screw would only make it better, but eh. <laughs> I'd rather have enough money for a key. And oh look, got another tiers upgrade, now we're at the max. <laughs> now, the real problem I'm going to have here is uh, lack of health. And that is a real problem, make no mistake. Oh my goodness. I actually might not need any more companions if this keeps up. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to blow this up. Okay, what I'm looking for is... Um, Spirit Hearts? What I'm getting is not Spirit Hearts. Uh... Huh. Okay. Crap. 
All right, actually, you know, now that I think about it, Flattened Penny would have actually been a really good thing to get because it means that, um... It means that every time I pick up money, there's a chance I might get keys out of it. So that would actually save me a lot of money in the long run, especially considering the fact that uh, it only it costs as much as a key does. Oh dear. Oh, I have a bad feeling. And yeah, we're dead. That sucks. All right, let's try this again. All I can do is hope that the items I get on this run are like even half as good as the items I got on the last one. Although to be honest, I think I probably got a little bit... Interesting. I think I'm definitely gonna wanna buy some bombs on this floor. Anyway, I think I got uh, pretty lucky and a little bit greedy in some respects. Whoa. Okay, yeah, watch the positioning. Yeah, I should not have... Oh, oh. oh dear. Okay, that was... I don't want to say that was... Well, actually... I don't want to say that was bad damage, but it was totally bad damage. <laughs> In no universe would that damage be considered good. Not the Marvel Cinematic Universe. Not the Steven Universe. Not, uh... Ooh. Not the Buffy verse. Uh oh. Woo. An issue I have with Lilith is I tend to focus more on the Incubi than on or uh, yeah than on Lilith and at least the stuff like that. But I gotta remember that they don't take damage. I do, so it's my it's Lilith's positioning. I have to work out. I have to watch out for. Yikes! I have little friends too, Widow. But something I'm uh, really looking forward to is the release of... Well, I mean, yeah, obviously the, the last Isaac DLC because, you know, I, I play Isaac all the frickin' time. But um, I'm also really looking forward to the... Um, the To Vampire the Masquerade Bloodlines 2. I didn't play the original Vampire the Masquerade. I didn't want to, I'm not gonna lie. But I never did because, I don't know, <laughs> reasons. Oh, it's Pin again. And, um, it just looks really cool, okay? <laughs> That's, I, I completely lost my train of thought there. Sorry, guys. All right, this bloody baby. So do I want dark matter or do I want the bloody baby? Okay, you take some of these while I think about that. Huh. Uh, you know what? I actually think Bloody Baby will be helpful. Or Headless Baby, anyway. I don't want to take my down... You know what? Let's do it. Why not? No guts, no glory, friends. Okay, so I want to buy... First off, I want to get a bomb to blow these clowns up. And I want to get a key. Open this chest up. And I want to get another key. And I want to walk all the way over here. Yeah, I think there might be a secret room there. I thought there might be, so I'd give it a chance, a shot, but... Damn, just the brakes, I guess. And we have the deck of cards. And we got a sun card. Oh, did I not? Oh, yes, I did. All right, uh, at this point, I think what I'm going to do... Is look for spirit hearts. A half price belt is tempting. Ooh. Oh, I want that binky. Uh, but I can't get that binky, sadly. Ugh. 
Am I gonna regret? Yeah, you know what? I am totally gonna regret all my life choices, but fair enough, whatever. That's just the way it is, I guess. I probably should have just headed down to the next floor. Um, that's not really that helpful. Oh, this is, though. Yes. Yes. Alright, um... <gasps> I want it. I want it! Um, hmm. Yeah, whatever. Let's just uh, do this. I mean, I guess I had to use a sun card eventually, but... Eh. So hopefully all of these little headless babies following me around are going to create a blood trail. That will damage ground-based enemies. If, you know... I mean, the Diglets are technically ground-based enemies, but... Whoa. Wait, what? <laughs> did, did somebody just die up there? Anyway. Yeah, the Diglets are technically ground-based enemies, but I'd have to rely on them actually... Stepping in there. Yeah, I am definitely looking forward to Vampire the Masquerade Bloodlines. I am totally going to play that when it gets out, when it comes out. And I will probably record that playthrough as well. I don't know if it'll be a blind playthrough or not. But blind playthroughs can be fun, uh, both for the person playing and uh, for the people watching. Especially if the people watching have played the game before. I will mercilessly call you out on everything you do wrong, because, I mean, how could you possibly have known? But they're also helpful because people can give you hints and tips, and most, uh, most audiences are pretty good about not giving out spoilers. Wow, I got a huge damage boost from Dark Matter. I did not expect to get that much damage out of that, that item. I didn't even, I wasn't even paying attention to my stats. Uh-oh. Okay, let's... Alright, Hans, I don't like you and you don't like me, but let's make this a nice, clean fight. Okay, I have, I have to kind of stay in front of this guy. Ooh. Alright, I guess I don't anymore. Whoa, okay. Whoa, what the heck? Yeah, I never did play the original Vampire the Masquerade. I kind of missed... Oh, dear. I kind of missed the ball on that. Missed the boat, I guess you could say, on that one. It might have been a little bit before my time. Actually, it really wasn't. I just, uh... Oh. Hmm. All right, well, let's give it a third try. <laughs> Third time's a charm, I hope. Um, okay, Band-Aid's not bad. Old bandage, I mean. And let's see. I heard a penny fall. Well, two, I guess. Okay, this uh, is actually very good. It's a good start. Because now I can buy a key, go into the item room. I also want to get a bomb, too, eventually. Oh, well. Uh, Alright. Um, well, that's, uh, that's kind of disappointing, but hey, you know, you can't win them all, I guess. Alright, so this time, this time, my friends, I promise, I will uh, take my health more seriously. And not be greedy for goodies. Oh my goodness. We're not going to be going cuckoo for Cocoa Puffs this time around. Okay, well I guess we're Blackheart bombing this uh, wave.
I've never pl I know that Vampire the Masquerade, there's a whole LARPing bit, and there's also the tabletop game version. Uh, I've never played either one of those either. Oh, okay, thanks. Oops. Yeah, alright. Yikes. Yikes. Yikes! Ooh, that was a very lucky shot that killed that spider before it ran into me and ruined my day. We'll get her done, guys. Don't worry. Uh, other games I'm looking forward to? I can't really think of a whole lot. I mean, I don't really uh, keep up on release news. I'm not some kind of gaming industry insider or guru. Um, I guess I could be if I really if I really put in the effort and worked hard and stuff. Uh, there are there are some early access games that I'm interested in, like Risk of Rain, uh, well, Risk of Rain 2, actually. I mean, and uh, Pray for the Gods. That seems like a very very interesting game. That is currently in early access. Uh oh. Okay. Yeah. I, I don't know what possessed me to stand just stand there like a doofus, but. I guess these things happen. Okay, this is some kind of dingleberry, ain't it? Yep, sure is. Oh, where's the flusher when you need it? Actually, something that might be really good, too, um, as Lilith, is the uh, backpack, because then I could carry two active items because I really do not want to give up Box of Friends. It's like, it's too good. I can use it multiple times. And yeah. Oh, hey, Krampus. Okay. Jeez, Krampus. Oh my goodness. I really don't want to get killed by Krampus. It's like getting slapped by Santa. Except, you know, you're dying and it's not Santa doing it. Well, a lump of coal ain't bad. That's what I. That's what I'm gonna tell myself. Um, hmm. Okay, I think Nun's Habit is actually a really good pick here. I'm gonna buy this, and uh, I kind of want to save money. Uh, you know what? Keys are for the week. Keys are for the week. You heard it here first, folks. All right, well, I mean, Ghost Baby is not my ideal follower, but hey, you know what? It's a follower, and I'm playing as Lilith, and it's all about the followers with Lilith. At least that's what uh, I've been told in my uh, Binding of Isaac uh, user's manual during orientation. They had a PowerPoint presentation and everything. And if they have a PowerPoint presentation, they gotta be right. They gotta be telling the truth. Yeah, nobody would put lies in the PowerPoint presentation. That's almost as crazy as going on the internet and lying. Who does that? Although, to be fair, I actually think sometimes that there aren't... Like, there's a lot of ignorant people on the internet, but there aren't... I don't think there are a lot of actual liars. Huh. Well. Okay, this, uh... Is not what I was looking for, but... Alright, I guess. I can't remember exactly what this does. Um... If I'm being honest. Alright, so... I'm gonna call it right now. If we do... Whoa. Actually lose this, uh... Whoa. Lose this run, I'm just gonna call it here. And it'll be, um... I'm just going to end the episode, is what I mean. Because recently I've been messing up a lot. Uh, I've been not turning on record on certain episodes. Uh, and then we're starting to record halfway through, which is extremely unprofessional. I mean, I'm not actually a professional, but... So. 
Yeah, that one Samson run, I, I kind of had to include it because we unlocked so much stuff and there would have been a lot of missing context for future runs. Like the run that came right after it, we were doing a, um, we did a challenge. Oh, wait, what? Oh, I should not have used that. Whoops. Okay. Uh, actually, this might still work. Because I'm going to get three charges, I think. Or two, maybe? I don't know. Alright, okay, no, I'm only gonna get two charges here. Uh oh. Alright, uh. Thank you, um, what is that? That's old bandage? What? I said what because I didn't see what hit me. Oh, don't go in there! Go in here! Alright, so this is interesting. Like, there's no reason not to take both of these, because I'm going to be spending two hearts anyway, no matter what. Um, okay. Yes, I will buy key. I'll buy this bomb. I'll blow these guys up. In the hopes of getting... Uh, all right, what, what floor is this? This is the cave, so there's going to be... Um, one, two, three more floors. So I want three keys. So now on the plus side, I won't have to wait until after every single wave is gone before I can check the item room. Well, the, the golden item room anyway. Okay. Okay, getting a lot of interesting utility items. Oh, that, ooh. <laughs> uh, sadly, I mean, we are getting DPS. I shouldn't, I shouldn't say that. Um, I want, I don't know what that card is, but I want to find out. Uh, huh. Okay. Um, let's see what I can re-roll into. Oh, okay. I mean, I guess I could get raw liver. Uh, spilled milk, in case you don't know, uh, it follows you around. When you take damage, it, um, it basically explodes and you get a Tears upgrade. And taking damage is pretty much the only thing at area in which I truly excel in this game. So, that being said, I'm sure I am bound to get that Tears upgrade eventually. The Tears upgrade isn't permanent. It only lasts for the room you're in there, you see. Whoa! Fire rate of two? Sign me up, friendos. Sign me up. Yeah, yeah, dude. This is why you gotta cry over spilt milk. Oh my goodness, this is actually this is super awesome, but also kind of terrifying because I just realized I only have like uh, a single spirit heart left. All right, let's do this. Uh, oh, it's you. Yikes. Okay, this guy is likely to hit me. Well. Okay, never mind. Yikes! Okay, now I'm afraid. Oh crap. Alright. So we had um, one really strong, like, incredible run. Um, an okay run. And then at the end, a run that uh, was situationally freaking amazing. Uh, sadly, none of that compensates for lack of skill. <laughs> anyway. Thank you for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe as well. You can share this video if you want to. Also, uh, my Patreon and uh, social media links are in the description. Uh, also, be sure to check out my other videos. Uh, they're edited, so they're a lot better than this one. <laughs> I'm Uncle Robert, and I'll see you next time. Bye.